You know, the first time me and Dodson fight, it, it was a very tough fight. They both have the speed. Dodson has more power. Mighty Mouse has a bit more technique and footwork. That first fight between me and Demetrius Johnson was all mine. I won those first three rounds, hands down, and he won the last two. He has every right to that opinion. I don't care. I mean, a lot of people in the world believe that the fight was not even that close. Wow, yes. check this out. He climbed on top of him. This is not where Dodson wants to be. First round, drop him. Oh, nice left hand over the top by Dodson. He doesn't hit as hard as I think he does. You know, dude, I, I give you 110% credit for dropping me. Absolutely. Oh, big hug again. He's hurt. That's he is hurt in this round, Joe. And that one really hurt him, Mike. But let's not forget about the time when you were like this and I had your head pushed up against the cage and gave me the uppercuts from hell. Nearly 170 significant strikes landed by the champion. There's plenty of time here. This might be it. When the fight was over, I was still ready to go more. You were. <sighs> I controlled the whole fight, except for the fourth and fifth rounds when he knew what it felt like to be in those championship rounds. Johnson Again. really turning it on here late in the fourth round. DJ is out championship in him. Yes, he is. If there was another round in that fight, I honestly believe that John McCarthy would have stepped in and stopped it. I didn't have the strength conditioning that I have now, and now I'm ready to go out there and knock him out. From that point then to this point now, it's going to be a totally different fight. And it's all over. Demetrius Johnson defends his flyweight belt again. This will be my seventh title defense, and I think that speaks for itself. He is the fastest man in MMA. There's nothing that we need to do different. Just like when DJ rematched the other guys, we, we took a look at the things he could have done better, and then he went out and did those things better. And that's exactly what we're going to do this time. That's right, Benny. I'm only going to get better from here. I'm dangerous. I'm here to show well that I'm the best 125 in the world. I don't have to tell the world that I've improved since our last fight. I've shown that I have improved. Back and look at all my rematches when I fought, you know, Ian McCall and Justin Benavidez. It's almost like round six. Huge right hand for Demetrius Johnson. McCall goes down. It shouldn't take me long to find his rhythm and his pace. And don't get me wrong, I, I believe John Dots is going to come out totally different. That's totally fine because I'm prepared to fight anywhere where the fight goes. There's nobody out there who can transition from striking to boxing to Muay Thai clinch to wrestling to submission game back up the clinching. You know, I have the ability to do that. And it's just going to be fireworks. Johnson by submission. He's the best. Dodson's a unique fighter because he brings speed and explosiveness to the game. He has knockout power at flyweight, but so does DJ. Oh! Demetrius Johnson can think that he can push the pressure and push the pace and do whatever. All I know is that he's going to walk into my fist and he's going to hit the ground. Not only am I the fastest guy in this fight, I'm the strongest guy in this fight. I'm going to be able to hit him with different angles and different power and a little bit more creative footwork than what Demetrius Johnson has seen. John Dodson, once again with style points here tonight. John Dodson's just so athletic, he comes up with some crazy things that I think people are going to see when Demetrius tries to shoot on him. So I'm excited. This time he will get him. John's been five rounds now. He knows what it's like. He is a little more experienced now. He knows how to pace himself out well. He's going to come in in a little bit better shape and a little bit better understanding of the total fight. And there's another left hand from Dodson that has Formiga hurt, and it is over. Only thing that's going to be different the second time is that I'm going to keep on hitting him and hitting him harder and hitting him harder and hitting him harder, and I'm watching him fall, and I'm going to keep on grabbing him. I'm holding him down in his throat and hitting him and repeating you like as if I was taking his lunch money. And then I'm going to take a walk away with his belt. We don't really pay attention to the talk because talk doesn't win fights. He can run his mouth all he wants. He better be trained. He's going to see a new John Dodson that's going to have better cardio. I have the fluid motion to keep up with Demetrius Johnson and the creativity to go ahead and take that belt away from him. For that whole fight week, it's amazing for me. I go ahead and beat up Demetrius Johnson on September 5th, and I get my little bundle of joy. Baby Delilah Sky comes September 9th. I'm going to be able to wrap my baby in a brand new belt. Look out for me. I'm the one coming after that belt. I'm bringing that home. I'm the champion because I am the best in this division. You said that last time. And I'm the one who's wearing gold. Frank Mir versus Andre Olovsky is a fight between two former UFC heavyweight champions. 
and two fighters that many people had written off. Two fighters that many people thought, well, we're starting to see these guys at the end of their career, probably won't see them much longer. Some people say, oh, Arlovsky down, he has to retire, this and that, and uh, I was so mad, I was depressed, I can say probably, yeah. You know, retirement talk was in every interview I gave. It became overwhelming at times. You know, the whole world is like basically already uh, written my obituary. Then the comeback. Andre Arlovsky, Frank Mir. Oh my goodness! Andre Arlovsky beats Brendan Schaub. Andre Arlovsky, victorious in his UFC return. Frank Mir put on a show in his comeback fight against Bigfoot Silva. Down goes Bigfoot, big left hand by Frank Mir, and that will do it. Frank Mir is back. Then Andre Arlovsky knocks out Bigfoot Silva. Oh, early knockdown for Arlovsky. Silva's He's out. got it. Andre Arlovsky has done it. Frank Mir got in a wild slugfest with young up-and-comer Todd Duffy, and the result was spectacular. Oh. Down goes Duffy out cold! Frank Mir does it again! Then, Andre Arlovsky knocks out Travis Brown in one of the greatest one-round slobber knockers in the history of the UFC's heavyweight division. Arlovsky pushing forward! Oh, oh he got rocked! Travis is so wobbly, he can barely stand up! Pitbull looking to finish him! Beautiful uppercut! What right hit! It's in! It is all over! Unbelievable! It was chaos, it was craziness. Every person in the arena was on their feet and it earned Andre Arlovsky a top five position. I did what I supposed to do. That the victory over Travis Brown put me in, uh, on the line for title shots, so now I get Frank Mir and I'm very excited about that fight. He was a champion, I was a champion. We're supposed to fight back in 2007. Eight years later, we're gonna fight each other. We have got what could be the ultimate slugfest. I think the fight is a great fight. I think Andre is back on the upswing. He's highly ranked. He's very athletic. He's very fast. He's quick. And he's a, he's a hard worker. They are on their feet. Oh! Andre Arlovsky with the win. I had a lot of respect for Frank Mir. He's very dangerous on the ground. Oh, side control for Mir. Look at this. Kamara. He loves his left overhand. And now he can punch. Oh Frank my Mir! goodness! That was ridiculous! I think, you know, I've had two fights in a row now showcasing what I've improved on in the boxing. This definitely has to be a threat that my opponents are always gonna have to look for. So the more threats I can impose, the more threats he has to identify and be ready for. He's not a joke, he's a tough fighter, and I just need to be disciplined, follow my game plan, keep my hands up, and uh, I just have to be ready for 15 minutes for. A decade ago, he was the UFC heavyweight champion. He made a major statement that he deserves another shot. The story of me working my way back up to a third title plays out that it's going to happen. I will not be denied. He wants that belt back badly. A win over Andre definitely gains a lot of momentum for that conversation. I still have that uh, fire in my eyes, you know, I just ready to go. Oh! Oh my God! Whoa! One of the, my strongest wishes to be a champion again. I will do this impossible to beat everyone who's gonna be on my way to get that uh, UFC belt.